Assalamu alaikum friends this is technology explored and you are listening to Usman Chaudhary in this video i am going to show you how you can make this type of die by using solid box forming tools in sheet metal the die will be used to punch the same design on the sheet metal in solid box to save your time so keep watching this video till end and if you want to download this uh, same forming tool uh, i will leave the download link in the description of this video so let's start first of all i will make this die for that start from a new window sketch on front plane then draw a center rectangle and start it from origin now define it 150 mm and this dimension is 120 mm then use a sketch fillet command from here and fillet all these corners uh, increase the fillet radius up to 30 mm press okay button then again press okay button now draw three point arc and draw it like this one arc on this side press escape button then select both of these arcs make their relation equal then select this center point this origin and this center point make their relation horizontal now define the radius for 0 mm press escape button select this point and this point make their relation horizontal next step is that use trim entities and trim this side also trim this side press okay button then again use this command sketch fillet and at this time fillet radius is 10 mm then select all these corners press okay button again press okay button now go to features tab and apply extruded bow space command extrusion length is 10 mm in the direction 1 and press okay button now sketch on this face drop down and this bow extrude one or expand it then select this sketch press convert entities select all these entities then from here select offset entities so reverse the direction and the distance is 15 mm next step is that check this box base geometry for uh, which will be used as a construction geometry then press okay button now again go to features tab and apply extruded bow space command extrusion length is 20 mm press okay button now again sketch on this face and make normal to then draw a straight slot like this one on this side press escape button now draw a center line start it from this point up to this point press escape button select this line and make it vertical now select this midpoint and the origin make horizontal relation then select this midpoint and this midpoint make vertical relation select this arc and this arc make them equal now select this line and this line make them equal now define this width 7 mm this length double 5 or 55 mm then define this length 95 mm so this sketch is fully defined go to features tab and apply extruded bow space command extrusion length is 10 mm and press okay button now sketch on this face again make normal to and draw a circle define the diameter of this circle 30 mm extruded 
अप टू थ्री जीरो मिलीमीटर एंड प्रेस ओके बटन नाउ यूज पिलेट कमांड पिलेट रेडियस इज टू मिलीमीटर सेलेक्ट दिस एज दिस एज एंड दिस एज ऑल्सो सेलेक्ट दिस एज दिस एज Press OK button. Then again use uh, pilot command, and at this time select this edge, this edge, this edge, and this edge. And at this time, pilot radius is five millimeter. Press OK button. So. once again use fillet command and at this time select this edge and this edge fillet radius is 3 mm and press okay button so now this product sample is ready so next step is that we have to convert it as a forming tool for that go to sheet metal and then select forming tool so first of all we have to select uh, this stopping phase so this is the stopping phase then we have to uh, tell the software that which uh, faces are going we are going to remove so we are going to remove this phase only then press okay button so this is uh, now ready we have to save it as a forming tool in our uh, solid works design library for that click on this arrow in front of save button and then select save all now expand these options and from here select forming tool so automatically you will reach to the design library folders from here go to forming tools and then again forming tools now name this part let's say forming tool 2 then save it now we had saved the forming tool in our solid works design library now close this window and and don't save it open new window again sketch on front plane draw center rectangle define it 200 mm and this size is also 200 mm press okay button then go to uh, sheet metal and select base flange tab this is the sheet metal thickness so let's say 1 mm is the sheet metal thickness and press okay button now use the edge flange command select this edge in this direction also select this edge this edge and this edge so press okay button so this is the box we had created in our, in the sheet metal now we want to make it according to our uh, design so to save time go to design library and then expand the design library options then from here expand forming tools then double click on the forming tools and here is the forming tool to that we had saved recently now what to do click and drag it to the face where you want to add uh, this design so let's say this uh, we are going to add this design on this face place it here next step is that uh, we have to position it so go to position tab here and then you can use smart dimensions to specify its position distance from this line to the origin 100 mm also define the distance from this line to the origin it is also 100 mm press okay button press okay again 
so this uh, this is the type in the type you can clip tool if you want like this then we have uh, the angle for uh, this design you can add 90 then press okay button so this is how we can use sheet metal forming tool again using it for this face now flip it to out outside and press okay button see how we had punched uh, the forming tool in our sheet metal i hope you had enjoyed and learned from this video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel for more thanks for watching and sparing time